All right, here we are in Arlington, Texas, late in the day, handling several cars from a collection. Been running all day, Spudman's getting a little bit tired. We're going to cover this one here for you. Very elegant, beautiful. Very rare, too. These are uh, beautiful cars. This is a 1974 Jag XKE E-Type V12 Roadster Cabriolet. Very well preserved. It's an 8,000 mile, just rolled over 8,000 miles on the odometer. Actual mile rig. We actually done uh, did a segment underneath the hood and we covered all the engine numbers for you or the engine number at the back of the block versus the data tag on the firewall. It has its uh, heritage trust report that comes with it. We'll have it over there on the seat for you. It's finished in Regency Red, uh, saddle top and saddle interior. There's a good little file that comes with it. It's over on the seat there. Um, some documentation. The prior owner spent a lot at uh, British Motors in uh, uh, British Motors Repair Shop in Scottsdale, Arizona. It's now here in Texas. Again, part of a large collection. Vin here on the windshield. We'll actually cover the door jam for you when we come around to the driver's side. Just rolled over 8,000 miles, 8,010 miles on the odometer. It's an automatic powered V12. So just about anybody can drive this great looking car. It has, uh, its original hard top is also included with it. So soft top, hard top, it has two tonneau covers. Um, we'll cover that when we get to the trunk. One's black, one's uh, the tan there or the saddle. A lot of the finish or a good portion of the finish in, on this is the original paint. Um, it's had blends and fixies here over the years, which you would expect, trying to keep it up to date and looking beautiful. You can see some rock chips that have been touched up on the nose here, that type of thing. So it shows uh, good character is what I would say. Kind of just give you a real good view of the car overall. We'll get into more specs and all that kind of stuff at Spud's Garage. It has uh, nice modern radial tires on it, American Classic radials on it. We'll spend some time in the trunk with you. All the tool kits there, all that kind of thing. All the equipment's there. All the trim and bright works nice, so is the glass. Dash is nice. I didn't see any cracks on any of the dash. It's the original dash. Again, 8,000 miles. Has an 8-track player in the dash there. That's cool. Steering wheel, nice condition. The seats have been renewed and some of the interior panels have been re renewed. That's all in a record file here. I'll post as much of this as I can at Spud's Garage. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, it's an automatic finished in Regency Red with biscuit interior. I called it saddle. Uh, dated dispatch December 12, 73. Sure, I moved the camera there, but this is included with the car. We did take a lot of photos of receipts and we can share those with you. All the panels fit very nice on this car. The finish is nice, and again, a good portion of the car is the original paint, and it is the correct original color. We had it up on the lift. I was able to detect they did a little bit of a fix down here, I think, mainly from rock chips, that kind of thing. I could see a blend. We had it up on the lift for you. We'll share the undercarriage. We ran, it, ran a magnet down the rockers. Jag E-Type, V12. So it's not 100% perfect, but it presents itself exceptionally well, and it is, I don't know how many 8K mile XKE Roadsters there are out there, but not many, I would bet. It will be sold as actual miles. We started up. We started up in the shop. Um, go through the video and stuff we did yesterday when it was raining. Started right up there. You see that. Vin tag here. Production date eleven of seventy three. So seventy four. Well, actually, during the video here in just a minute. 
We're not going to cinch the top down all the way, but we'll cover the top with you. We're going to put it up enough to cover the top canvas, and we'll get in the trunk for you. It's been nice to have some help out here. Right, we'll get you underneath the hood here. We actually did this before we did the walk around on the video because of weather outside. Uh, we went over all the numbers. These are a, a uh, 12 cylinder, two valve per cylinder. They're rated at about 245 horsepower or so. Uh, we've checked the numbers on the block here. Data tags there. Again, this pictures will be at Spud's Garage. The number on the block does match the number on the data tag here. It's got uh, four Zenith Stromberg style carburetors on it. A lot, if not many, of the gaskets have all been renewed over the last several years, like we talked about during the walk around. All done by British repair shops. We'll have some of those receipts at Spud's Garage. Air conditioning looks like it has uh, retrofitted uh, 134 fittings on it and I know they spent some time on the air conditioning system. Get you some of the front suspension here. Obviously, hang on, we'll get you the undercarriage. You'll see how these are all original paint finishes underneath the hood. It's an original paint car. We think you get the idea. Here's the uh, emissions control tag that's on the uh, inner fender well here, bottom side of the hood. All right, we're going to fire it up here for you in the shop. It's stone cold right now. I did not touch the fuel. Now I will. Again, it is absolutely stone cold. All right, we'll share the trunk and its contents with you. Uh, there are two tonneau covers, or rear boots, top boots, top down boots. There's a car cover in here original jack and of course you see the original uh, rear trunk mat here there's the uh, knockoff tool and then of course this will be in the trunk here which we've documented at spud's garage um, the uh, heritage report and miscellaneous documents there all right as mentioned during the walk around we're going to cover the top here for you it has been renewed at one time i don't know the date it does look good probably been down more than it's been up there are two spots. If you don't unsnap these before you raise the top on these cars, you will pull out the snap, which has happened here with this. This will be fixed, sewn fixed with a new button in it before it leaves here. It's the same thing on both sides. Somebody put the top down and didn't undo the snap on the corner here. And also, next up, we're going to cover the hard top that's included with it. All right, we'll cover the hard top here for you. The stand does go with it. The finish on the top is not perfect. It's from being around in the garage and over the years, that type of thing. It spends more time with it off than it does on. I do believe the headliner was, uh, it is an original headliner. I was thinking it may have been uh, renewed at one time, but I don't think it has. up on the lift here cover the undercarriage that type of thing we said mostly uh, 
We believe most of the paint is all original this car. It is 7K miles. There's a little bit of a blend over on this side lower. Give you an idea of the back end here. Rear wheel wells. All the work was done, uh, most recent work was done at a British motor shop in uh, Scottsdale area. We'll post receipts of that on Spud's garage where they went through seals and gasket, a very meticulous owner appeared, prior owner. We've run a magnet all down this rocker here. Both sides. Just giving you a good feel. You, you're looking for a car like this. You're going to want somebody to do that for you. So we'll do it for you. All we can tell you is what we see, but uh, I've been over it multiple times with a magnet here. Transmission we know has been resealed by covering the receipts. The oil pan has been redone. I believe some of the upper gaskets have been redone. Front suspension looks like a uh, true 7K mile car. Actually, all of the undercarriage looks that way. Um, I don't think there's any doubt, but... Uh, thanks for watching the video. Give us a call with any of your questions and hanging on to the end. There you go.